Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing my first rat cage tour on my channel. This is Molly. That is baby food and cream elite. Hi baby, you're going to come say hi. <sighs> She's so cute, you guys. Okay, let's, let's show them what your house looks like. So this is a plastic little um, organizer from, oh, uh, be careful, Moss. She's very daring. <laughs> Um, from Dollar Tree, and I just have it flipped over as like a Heidi. This right here is a, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? A shower mat that I sewed some fleece onto, and you just throw it in the wash. These are little toys that I made. It's a toilet paper roll, and then has a little piece of masking tape, and some tissue paper that I fringed. This basket uses is just like an extra little climbing mechanism. We have a little litter pan over there. I'm trying to litter train them. Miles, what are you doing? You can't just sneak out. Oh, there's Chloe. She's starting to realize there's food. She's super shy, but Molly's just like clearly all over the place. <laughs> Go up here. Find one of your treats up there. Um... There's a toy, some hard food, a lava rock, and then your water bottle. She's getting it. She's wanting to. Yes, Molly, I see you. On the second level, I just have some fleece, another little litter pan. Oh, and I see little poops. So look, they're kind of getting the idea. So I'm just going to put those in there. Like she, She's been coming over there to go to the bathroom, so that's really good. And then... Another little toy I made, and then just a basket with a little bit of the extra fabric in it. I will be adding stuff to this. this I literally just got to them yesterday, and I had to throw this cage together. So, and then that's just a hat sitting on top of the basket, tied up to the top. Oh, you're so playful. Okay, I'm gonna kind of close this. Um. Okay, models, just come here, baby. I'll hold you. Yeah. So that's a hat, and then up here is another little basket, and then there's this little heart basket, a white basket that leads to, hold on, let me, let me close that. She's, you guys, like, she is probably one of the most active and friendly little rats that I've ever met. Like, she just left her mommy yesterday. I mean, she was weaned, but she was still in the same cage as her mom. Um, so anyways, there's a basket, and then this little rope. Oops, it unclipped. Which is actually okay, because I wanted to move this down, because the other little girl just doesn't know how to climb. Like, she does know how to climb up, she doesn't know how to climb down, so I figure a rope might help her. And then this is just a corner fleece that I made. This shelf's pretty bare, there is a little basket. But I think I'm going to add in this corner, I'm going to take this basket away and add like um, a basket with paper shreds in it. Yes, what are you doing, Molly? She's just, look at her go. Look at her go. And then this, you guys, is just a shower ring holding this little wood thing I got from Dollar Tree. Um, oh, and then I forgot to show you on this side as well. There is a basket. I will be putting um, paper in that one today. Hi, Molly. So she just uses the side of the cage, like, with ease. But the other little girl, Chloe, is kind of, like, doesn't know how to do the things. Molly has no fear, which scares me because she looks down like she's going to jump. And we're like, no, no, no. No, no, no. Here, eat a puff. Eat a puff. Mmm. No? You just want the mama? Molly's really young. Um, the lady that I got her from, that thing stuck to her is food. <laughs> she got baby food on her and then got crumbs of adult food stuck to the baby food, which I'll get it off. You scratching? She's so cute. Um, but anyways, the lady that I got her from, the mama rat, got 
got pregnant again and had her babies and so she needed to get rid of them sooner than later plus they were moving like just circumstances really happened but I think Molly's doing fine she's honestly adjusting better than the baby who had been separated from her mom for a week um Chloe is oh she moved she was down there eating that's baby food and cream of wheat in case anybody's wondering that's meat baby food they like to climb under this. I'm gonna get them a tunnel because they tend to like that. Hi, baby, you gonna come say hi? No, you're gonna go hide, huh? She's the one that likes to like dig and go under. So she's definitely gonna be the one that digs. But yeah, this is what I have so far. I'm definitely need to add more. I gotta fill in this side over here more like it's really plain i was thinking um a hammock would be really cool right there yes molly you just love love i know baby she really is just i don't know if you guys can see this i don't know how good quality this is because i can't see what i'm doing i'm back in oh no you don't want to Big butt. Look at the big butt. Come on. Okay, yeah, so I don't have as much stuff as I want in here, but this I wasn't planning on actually oops, sorry guys. I gotta put that down real quick. I wasn't actually planning on um getting wrapped yesterday. It kind of just happened and I'm sure a lot of rat owners can Relay. I was going to buy just the cage second hand because I was expecting to get babies in a couple of weeks so I was like I'm gonna use the smaller cage and then get a bigger one and then this one actually is like pretty freaking big <laughs> um, I'm gonna get the actual measurements and do it on a calculator I know it's fine for two but I uh, she had a critter nation cage sitting next to her and honestly this was like the same size almost like maybe an inch or two shy with the width other than that the height and um length was the same but just the depth was just a little bit bigger she's so cute 